Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to upload a file to um, your cPanel, how to put it into the file library, and then put it on a custom page to show to your me members in the LFM script. So to start with, if you have any videos or PDFs that you want to add for content, you need to either FTP them or go into your cPanel. And the directory that you want to put those in is this one right here, 1QAZ2WSX. That's where you want to put it. Now I do recommend making subdirectories, especially if you have several different products on your membership site that you want to offer to your members by putting them into um, separate directories, subdirectories, um, it'll help you to keep them all organized. So you can see that I have um, some PDFs, some MP3s, I have some those in here, um, and again the same thing for another product. Uh, one good thing um, that I want to mention, a little tip, is your PDFs and your uh, MP3s, I would suggest putting those into separate zip files. And once I uploaded them, I automatically um, named them in order. So lesson one, lesson two, three, four, five, you can see what I did there. I did the same thing with my videos, um, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Um, this is going to help you when, when we go on to the, to the next step here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Products and File Library, and you're going to set up a file. So if you're, if you're going to upload a video, then you use the video type file, and then you're going to name it. So you can see that I named like my videos one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, say you're going to go um, video one or vid one, you know, whatever it is you're going to do. Then you're going to tag it. Um, you can use whatever tag you want. Some of the examples are video one, video two. Um, so, video one. And then you're going to name your file. Now, this file, it it links directly back to whatever uh, subdirectory and file name you use. So if you if you named your subdirectory test and then it was a test video 01, say that's what you named it, um, and it was an MP4. Uh, that's what you know. It always has to link back to the subdirectory and then the actual file name that was in your panel. So you can see that um, the subdirectory was SK Lessons and then it would be Lesson 1. Okay? So that's what, what that is for. These are if you are using Amazon and then you would need to use the directions for Amazon. But for a regular product that you're pulling up, you can ignore these, and then you add the file. The next step that you're going to do is you're going to go to Content Delivery. And you need to make a page for uh, this product, right? So um, in, in this scenario, I made two different parent directories, and then all the videos underneath that parent, I named 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on. Um, I did the same thing for these social craze videos. This is the parent, which is 0, and then preceding videos that you want under that would be there. How does that show in the members panel? Well, right here. So we have social super superstar videos and the first one is there number one and then sometimes you have to go home in order to see the whole drop down um, and then you can see all the preceding videos in that parent directory same thing with uh, this one so you have social craze videos and then you have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's how that shows up in the members directory. Now again, you'll need the tag. Um, and I did the same thing with the tag. 
the the parent directory was just SSV, and then preceding ones were SSV two, three, four, and then I named it. So the obvious the the parent directory is what the button's going to show, right? So, and then what member level do you want it to show to? Uh, do you want it to show to free? Do you want it to show to upgraded or JVs? Um, availability in days means are you going to drip feed this? Um, you know, do you want them to see the parent directory first and then a week later um, see the second one? So then when you set up the second one, you're going to go seven days after they join. Uh, if you want them to have them all now, you just leave it zero. Um, when you do seven days, then um, the date in here is the date that, um, well, it would be today's date or a date that you want it to, to start showing. Um, do you want it on the menu? Um, you know, if you're only going to do it for uh, free members, you can put it on the menu. If you want it to only show for upgraded menus, you can put it on the menu. Um, Public means that it's going to show to everybody. Um, so if, you're, if you only want this available to your upgraded members, then um, you're not going to click this button. And then again, if, you, if you're doing like your second video, you're going to select your parent directory for that. So if this is like your, your second product, you're going to put two there, and then you're going to click your parent page. Obviously, the first one is not going to have a parent. Your parent page isn't going to have a parent. Okay, so then you add the page. Now, when you add the page, um, you're going. what would be helpful is if you have um, in your editor something like this. Um, What's really nice here is that you can use these tildes, and it's going to show your video up right away. So using your tags that you put in your file library. Okay. Um, so if we go to file library, and I'll show you the last one that I did. Um, So it was SKV12 right there. And you can see that I put these little squiggly marks are called tildes. So I put two squiggly marks, my tag from my file library, SKV12, and two squiggly marks. What this is going to do is automatically show your video. And it's pulling it from your file library. Now this is a PDF image um, that will show up. and so if you have a PDF, you're going to use that tag from the file library with your tildes. If you have an MP3, then you can use your tildes with that tag from your file library. Then you take your source, you copy it, and you go into your content pages, content delivery, and after you've already made the page, right? So I'm going to pull up this last one that I had, SKV Pinterest Lesson 12. And you put it in there. Okay, I already have mine in there. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So we're going to go to Pinterest Lesson 12. You can see that my video automatically showed up because I used the SKV12 referencing from my file library. You can also see that my PDF image showed, and when I click on this, because I put it into a zip file, it's automatically going to let me download that PDF. Same thing with this one. Um, because I put it in a zip file, it's automatically going to let me download that MP3 file. So um, very simple, very easy, and I'll show you that um, 
page again so that you can I would recommend maybe writing these down so that you understand and and put a note next to it saying reference tag um, in the file library so that you understand what that means. That's all there is to getting content onto your LFM script. Have a great day everybody.